I am Paul from Paul's Importer Distributor, 70 Garden Street, Campbellville, east of Cherry Street. We are in a safe, safe, safe environment behind Royal Castle. You come down here, you would amaze to see the variety of products that you, we are carrying. As I said, your security is paramount for us. Your parking is paramount and your ease of doing business. We take care of your business. And we, with this product, especially in our bricks and engine seals and what's not and so on. The variety of these products that we are carrying is tremendous. We have it in the bricks alone. We have them in three or four brands. And we have them for the high end. We are for the average customer. We are for the low income customer. A person do not have enough cash in the pocket or the economy. They have a vehicle just want to get it going, right? It is over 180 different applications we have in, in these bricks pads. Then. Here my again, Paul from Paul's Importer Distributor, 70 Garnet Street, Camelville, east of Sherry Street. It's out of one of the main thoroughfare and the high, busy um, traffic. And we are convenient here, it's well secure, guaranteeing you, well parked, lots of parking space, right? And whenever you enter into bars, product that you can't get anywhere, it's available here. Even to the extent that we have any tools, we go with the, the, your repairs now. We have a wide variety of tools beside. But here we are in front, coming back to the bricks pads and bricks products in general and the works. The different types of products and the different applications and where you must be able to uh, select or choose the best that you know would go for your work and get it done right. Get your service. What you pay for, you would get. Now, you see in front of me here, I have some several boxes of bricks pads, right? I have the Lion Bricks, a new product in the market for the past six months. It is well accepted. And we got a Wagner Bricks. We got a Kazuki. And we... The same bricks around here, but they are different features. I, I will give you some information pertaining to it. But along with the Wagner Bricks body, we also have the Wagner Bricks Fluids. And here is the brick fluid again. You have them in one liter, yeah, uh, dot three, one liter, dot four, and 250 ml, dot three, and 355 ml, that three. We normally used to get them in the one gallon. The manufacturers not um, uh, bottling them in, the, in those containers anymore. We get them in the 500. They have a shortage of cans. So we are not getting the different sizes we want. But you have in here the that three and four. That 5.1, they don't have any in stocks. So this is all that we are getting. But let me give you a little history of the Wagner Lockheed. The Wagner Lockheed, if you notice it, mark genuine. And the word Lockheed is here. So here you, you got it, a genuine Lockheed. What could the um, design of the container could tell you it needs preservation. This is a fuel is hydroscopic being a glycol product, hygroscopic, and it's, um, it pulls the humidity into the can when you open it. Yeah, and it pulls very strong. They say it pulls like 150% of the humidity into this container. This is why from since the yellow can, that which was Lockheed and Lockheed alone, the flat yellow can, that the same car, the ideal car, in terms of size, 
fix onto the flat container. As you would see, I tried to get one of them open. Under this can, under this can, you would see the ceiling. There are three ceiling security for avoiding humidity penetration, right? And this here, and it's a narrow sprout. And you could see you got to take something and dig this metal seal in. You got another seal under here plus, plus the cork. But on this cork, it is written that to avoid contamination, keep the can tightly closed when not in use. That is just a reminder to tell you how vulnerable it is to leave this brake fluid open and the amount of humidity we destroy it in a short moment. And it uh, accumulate moisture already into it. So before you start working, uh, getting heated on it, get that moisture. The humidity is air and dust in the atmosphere that it pulls. They, we call it a pull like a genie that sucks into the bottle. That's what the, the brick fluid will do. You notice where it fall on your car and the paint, you would see it pull that paint off, right? If you don't wash it off immediately. That is strength of the fuel, how it's pulling, right? So there is it. Now that to give you why a different container that you see in Lockheed in, or you see Lockheed, you know it in a yellow container, or you know it, those who can remember know it in the yellow can, and as I tell you, the technology and the can sealing and everything, and the genuine lucky. What is the yellow plastic bottle to compare? What's the difference? Brake fluid is DAT3, DAT4, and DAT5.1. And any brake fluid that has got DAT3, DAT4, DAT5.1, they are glycol-based product. They are compatible. They are mixable. As I said earlier, is the one that is a silicone-based fluid, which is DAT5, and not DAT5.1. DAT5 is a silicone base, while DAT5.1 is a glycol base that is compatible and mixable. On the yellow container plastic Lockheed, you might see genuine and you would see it. But what goes on today in the manufacturing and marketing industry that there are companies and distributor or trading company would buy a value, go and order from the factory and do their own branding. So they pay royalty to use the name of another company. And this is where it comes in that the Delphi Lockheed that we, they got Lockheed, which they pay the royalty to use, just like KFC Guyana and KFC America. And you know KFC the Allo, but they don't bring the KFC chicken to Guyana or make the chicken in America and bring it here. So those, they do their own product and they bottle it, but the name Lockheed has been used. But it have to reach certain standard in terms of the DOT, Department of Transport, they going to say whether it's a DOT 3 or DOT 4 or DOT 5.1. But the life of a fuel will have a difference based on the container, right? Plus the chemical, the volume of what the, 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 this got, you notice 21. What did 21 mean? It's 21 different characteristics of chemicals that they are using to make this fluid, right? Compare with the others, but it could work. It's compatible. Now, we come here in terms whenever you're to service, and you know, the books tell you, if you read, you follow, it will tell you that you have to flush your brick fluid every 12 months out. 
And the reason to flushing out this brick fluid is because of the high level of water contents that it would generate into the system. And that water can, while, he, as I said earlier, it was he heated up and the heat is vapor, vapor is water. So the fuel is incompressible. It converts to water, 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 and it lower the heat resistance. And it starts the seizure of your piston, the corrosion and seizure of your piston. Then if you look in the piston, you will see it start pitted inside and so too. So that is something you must look that how this fuel behave when it gets the heat and you get a low pedal pressure or no pedal pressure sometime and that is where a lot of accidents occur because you know you put fresh brake fluid in your vehicle and you drive in at a speed excessive speed where you exceed the heat resistance of the battery fluid and which is you're really supposed to be using like a dot four or dot 5.1 fluid, which is much more higher heat resistance and it keep cooler longer period of time and it keep the caliper rubber in a cool environment. So you will have an effective brakes. Shorter stopping distance and it assists you with the brakes part itself doing less work, right? On the rotor, less wearing period and so and as it says, stop, short to stop in this one. So this is the reason why you have to look in them in the product that what you're using and the effects that they're having. And it's very competitive in prices. These are USA made. They go through all the regulation and testing bodies and being approved to their different rating. On servicing, when you have to flush uh, the servicing, at all time, you're having these bricks pad. As I said, you got the Wagner one of the highest rated pad around, but they are in different grade. Wagner is not necessary, Wagner. Wagner, you're having the Thermoquite brand, you're having the ceramic brand, you're having the semi-metallic, and you have a low semi-metallic. We are talking about brands now, uh, quality of bricks, bricks pad. But the pricing, they give you longer service of work as the price up, they know about it. And the price is how much you could afford to pay. And what you're willing to pay. We as importer, we are bringing something that to reach the customer pocket and still give them the service. And this has been proven for over 10, 12 years, we are bringing the Wagner Brakes Pad as a distributor, preferred distributor. And it's the price of it, uh, two and a half times to three times because coming out of the United States, but you get a service for your money that you pay for this. We are having it, it's in a high demand. Uh, what we are getting now is uh, some problem to be able to get the volume and the variety that we wanted. But they come with an advantage, we got them. Like the, these are the Tundra and Chakumo and Hilux pad, and even the Pitbull pad that we are having here. This is a Lion Brakes. The material, if you look at the materials, uh, is very important. And the material that it make with, is this what will give you the stop in the excellence or give you the power or long lasting? When you look at the kind of material, the mixture of the material and how the material is saturated into the friction sheet, then you will be able to see, determine whether this pad would work or not. It also come with the, cl the kit, the clips to so these uh, stuff on the line brand. Um, not all of the Wagner one would come with the clips. So you have an advantage here with this one. The price is uh, a little lower than the Wagner pad, right? And it carry the heat sink. This plate to the back here, you call it heat sink, or to a nice damper, because some just rattle on the back of it. While you find a pad you buy, 
$2,580. They don't carry these things behind. And the material that they use is not compatible. All right, so that. So here you have the, 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 the Wagner one. Um, and this one here, I'm gonna open this one to see the material, what they carry inside. This is a ceramic material. You haven't seen any silver brass material into it. It's a basic organic material. And it carry the damper, or you call it the heat sink, to avoid the heat to transfer from the pattern rotor to get to the wheel cylinder or the caliper where the brake fluid is behind at the back there. So it reduces the heat transfer and keep the fluid cool. We have another one here is the Kazuki. And the Kazuki is what uh, an economy part. It has a lot similar heat sink and uh, the material you're going to see it's a semi-metallic. They give a fairly good service for the, the money. Not everybody could afford to buy the Wagner nor the Lion. Lion have the advantage inside with they having all the clips and what's not. It's a, it's part of you have to buy them in very large volume to get them at a good price, plus to get eclipse them and so. The clips cost us two, three dollars more on them, right? And the price is lower than the Wagner one. The Wagner has been rated uh, high as we know it here already, but um, the Lion Brake would bring a challenge to the Wagner pads in terms of the price and the service. So if any time a customer say, well, look, I can't spend that money, or I don't have that amount of money to spend. We have one that would satisfy you and you're content that you will get more than your money worth out of the Lion brand, right? There is the Lion brand, and it has been proven already from since last year, bring our wholesale customer, buy them, they try them out in the workshop, they try them out in the fields going down in the mines at the back. One report this morning I got back from a Linden side that the customer is saying that the mechanics told him that this one, because of the material, it's not deteriorating when it goes through the water and sun. It's really standing up to that rigorous where the sun would grind between, get between and grind it out and, and wear the pad very fast. But this pad is holding up. So that's a, one of a bright sign we got, right? So those, that's the Lion brand. We have another Wagner in the Pitbull. It's a semi-metallic in the Pitbull. It's not a um, thing, but this is a Pitbull pad, right? And it also have the heat sink. And this, they have a good result out of this too. Although they may see that the pad, while it's a US company pad, and some say they look, the people looking at the pad where they make now. This one uh, made in Mexico. Used to be with, well, to be honest, US don't make most of these the European or the Japanese vehicle um, parts, they will make they see the same company make they make them outside, but they got to reach the standard. You got the European standard, you got the Japanese standard, you got the um, U.S. standard, and they got to reach this standard. Otherwise, they seize all and they dump it. This one here is the Lion brand in the same. Uh, the Lion brand with the, the, the material, as you look at it, you see you have every component inside with the sink, plus it. in this one, the Lion brand, the, the clips, is it, it, it comes with it. With this clip, where you haven't got clips inside uh, for the pit bull, you haven't got the clips in the Wagner, but the Lion brand has come with the clips. The clip is very important. After a time using this um, bricks, same set of clips, you find the clip gets soft, 
it get weak and the, the pad start to rattle into the, the system or it causing the, the squealing or screeching, right? And some people will work it with you know, put silicone and other things to hold it. And by then, the, the, the ears, uh, the part to hold the clips, it deteriorate uh, from the caliper. And they're going to put a new one inside and they're going to hear a squealing or a screeching. And they're going to say that the pad is the problem. It, all the cases, it's not really the pad is the problem. The pad the clips and these things, when they, this thing, these parts wear, or they don't have the clip inside, you will find that this, or they don't have the backing plate, you will find that they will cut a screeling and so on it. Right? So they, here you have it. This got a rich um, mixture of material into it. You could see something like brass, brass dust. Yes, as I said earlier in my opening remarks, I am a well by profession. I also did mechanical work. And I did the fabrication, changing, vulcanizing. So we come out of uh, the workshop direct that physically handle these things them and uh, the type of material you work with and so and the durable, durable material or the one that could be a basic material and so because they all have different quality in every material, right? Uh, but uh, in the manufacturing world, so that is how come you get a service? They tell you after five years, your warranty is up, you got to get, start going and pay for your service or whatever. Finally, into servicing of these bricks pad, right? There are a lot of people I will give a direction, but let me conclude with it. These are products that you do not touch with your hand in terms of servicing your bricks, that you go and get uh, diesel in, kerosene, or you go and get purple blast and say you're going to clean up your brick drum or your brick router or your parts you're washing out and so. This here is a brick cleaner. The product, the branding of this is a BTS. BTS, Better Technical Solution. And it's a professional product. It's not a basic product. With this one can, it's good enough to service all four wheels. It carry a high pressure inside air pressure. So the pressure alone will clean up everything here and as it cleans it dries by itself you don't have to touch it you don't have to take a brush to rub it or a wire brush to scrape it or a sun or whatever you just spray on and it cleans up itself because you know these things them some of them the material is kind of toxic especially if you get a low carbon pad of them as best as pad they still have some mixture in some of them in them low economy pad right so in the safe way, you use these and for environment, these are all approved, a US environmental approval for any one of these BTS products. When you come to Guyana here, for we to get it clear, we got five government agencies. We got to go to the Toxic and Chemical Board. We got to go to the Food and Drug Administration. We got to go to Energy Agency. We got to go to the Ministry of Trade. Then before we could reach uh, the custom, the broker get it to fill. It, that last shipment took us 26 days since the, pro, the, the product landing in here, 26 days to process it. Don't believe it, right? This is something that we affect in us here, but it's a really effective. If you're a professional and you want a good result on your job or the customer demand, that they want a proper job, a clean job, this is the one, brick cleaner, right? The bigger companies, they buy them by the cases and so, God, they use them a lot. And you carry a, a bristle a, here, a nozzle, you fix on the front here, and it give this fine pressure uh, exit that you could go and move it across. And as I said, it could wash all four wheel one time clean, and it dries itself. You don't have to do anything more. And finally, when you're ready to assemble, you don't 
so assemble these pads them on a dry rotor on a dry um, caliper all those has caused the screeching inside because where the ears where the clips fix on in here right or the caliper moves in and out there is two pin guided right and that two pin need to be clean and lubricate with the bricks grease you call this one the silicone brick caliper grease right the silicone brick caliper grease so you take a little bit you put some on the ears you, you put some on in where the clip is like this both at the back of the clip and at the front of the clip inside where this part is going to be moving in here right and there you will have a smooth slide in because when they're dry, you know dry material they would always got a friction and sticking on them and it causing uh, some screeching and these kind of stuff too, right? So this is why it is important that you use the caliper grease and they, they carry a very high temperature so it won't melt. The heat that generate there, it won't melt. It's a minus 550 uh, degree Fahrenheit to 570 degree Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius to 298 degrees Celsius, right? This is to do a proper braking service. Remember these products, it's Wagner, it's Lion Bricks, and BTS, Professional Service and Repair. Some of the highest quality American products or they reach the American standard, which they have a DOT standard, a API standard, and SAE standard, where you're dealing with like lubricants and this kind of stuff. DOT, Department of Transport, API, American Petroleum Institute, and SAE, Society Automotive Engineer. These are the certifying bodies and they would give the, the grading of the product. And that is where you would know which one you're buying. When you see that these certificate, the stamps and not all you will find, but certain products you will find that uh, they would have the stamp of these respective certifying bodies, right? And believe in me, the market is getting very competitive. The product uh, manufacturing base, a lot that we depend, a US product, a European product, or a Japanese product. But they have to reach a global standard and they have to comply with. This violation now, there is heavy penalty and seizure of many of these goods that come inferior. We know there is still a lot of counterfeit coming from different route in the bricks pad. We encountered this two years ago. I don't know, it's still in the market to what extent, but I understand there is other people selling them. And a lot, when they realize that the product don't give no service, then they blame the product. What they blame? Not that the counterfeit one they would directly. That would give a bad reputation to the original product, the Wagner, or the BTS, or the Lockheed, right? When they come out to the counterfeit and they say they're getting it cheap over oh this body got it cheap, that body got it cheap. But what you got it cheap? The cheapness is what you're going to put you in trouble with, right? So I stand for quality. I believe in quality and I'm honest about that. I'm not a greedy man for money, but I am very, very excited in serving people quality product, right? something that they would get the money worth and more than the money worth and for the safety of their self and their family right so what i like for myself i like for others and you have the oem original equipment manufactured product the uh, difference in size and that's what you call the genuine original but at the same time the same manufacturer would make a different grade or different level for different company or the same company. 
the same company as I said earlier, that in the Wagner Briggs, the same company gonna make three quality and you're paying the price according to what you want because of the quality, right? You want the A grade, you're gonna pay the A grade price for, it, for the A quality. You want the B, you're gonna pay the price for the B quality. You want the C, you're gonna pay the C quality price. It all come down to what service you're gonna get from them or you pay for. It. So long, so much. I think you guys have learned a lot. I think you're gonna use these advice or what you've heard to your best of knowledge and to see.